And we also find that individuals that eat less choline have an increased risk to developing Alzheimer's disease. There's been a few papers that have been published in the last two years, one coming from my lab that actually shows that decreases in choline can actually lead to decreases in acetylcholine, which can predispose a person to develop disorders like Alzheimer's disease. Um, so can, is there any evidence that like supplementing or getting, uh, is there any evidence that that nutrient supplementation or just ensuring that you're starting to get adequate levels of things like choline can uh, like reverse problems like neurodegenerative problems? Yeah, so um, there there has been a trial that was done uh, many years ago where they actually supplemented with a form of choline, uh, phosphatidylcholine, and they didn't find benefits in a, a clinical trial. However, I will say that that was uh, a study that was done in patients that were that were more in advanced stages of Alzheimer's disease. Mm. So can it reduce the plaques, the tau tangles? No. If they're there, they're there, and the choline is not going to remove that, right? However, what we have found based on the literature is that if you start early, if you get your recommended daily intake amount, you know, in your in your 20s, 30s, 40s, and beyond, you're kind of, you're essentially preventing aspects of the disease that are risk factors and can initiate the cascade of pathological burden that you see in these specific disorders. So in my lab, we've published a few papers and rodent models actually showing two two phenomena. One, if you don't have choline in your diet, it, it increases, uh, it leads to obesity. It